All right, today we're going to be planting in our green stock containers. We're gonna be placing our strawberry starts in our green stock. And then later on after our last frost, we are going to be placing herbs and some flowers. I got a green stock for all of the strawberry plants that we have. My mom actually bought me a whole nother thing of 10 plants of strawberries. So I wanna go ahead and get those in our green stock because they are already flowering. I've just had them sitting on my kitchen counter and I wanna get them out here so that they can hopefully start growing even more. Did you just lay an egg, chickadee? They sing this song whenever they lay an egg. So I'm thinking we're either gonna have the green stock right over here or right now I have it sitting in this corner here. The thing is, I don't think we're gonna keep the greenhouse out here the whole summer. We might eventually move it because I don't really like how it's looking. Um, but maybe as things start to grow and we get some more greenery, it'll look better. I gotta decide where we're gonna put it and then we are gonna go ahead and get our soil that we bought. So I got some potting soil because I did hear that that is what's best for the green stock. And then I got some more raised bed soil to hopefully fill these other ones. And I think we're going to be adding somewhat of like a uh, trellis, an archway over here of these two square beds. I'm thinking, I think it'd look really cool if I had a big arch over there. I originally was gonna do the arches all along these beds, but I don't think it's gonna be big enough. So I think that's what we're gonna do, and then I might be convincing Tom to build some more beds out this way, and then we'll do some more arches. But I haven't told him that yet. We shall see how that goes. We have a soil delivery. Da -da 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 -da. You got smart carrying that that way. Brand new street and brand new me. Side by side by friends I need Don't you tell me that you're in town I already know Couple This is a strawberry plant that my mom got and as you can see I have some flowers which means hopefully some berries soon um, so this comes in a pack of 10 plants. I'm gonna go ahead and separate it out and then get it planted in the green stock. So I should have plenty and then I have a lot of extra rows that I think I'm gonna put some flowers and some herbs in them. And that will definitely save some room in our beds. So that will be great. I wish I could wipe my own memory out. I wish I could dream about somebody else. Okay, I got our strawberry plants separated out. I got 10 different little bunches that have a ton of roots. Look at all these roots here. So I'm gonna go ahead and now put them here in the green star. We have a few more garden beds to fill that we have already built. We have this garden bed and this one that we have made from our previous brooder box that we used for our chickens. And now I just have to fill it. I've been putting it off because I feel like we have been constantly filling these garden beds. I have my chicken manure, I have my sticks, my dry leaves, and now I'm gonna add some topsoil, some compost, and finish it off. And I'm gonna add some pea moss and then I'm gonna add some raised bed soil to top it off that way it's ready for planting. We have made videos about everything of how we built our garden beds and the layers that we've used so you go ahead and check that out and yeah I'm just gonna start adding some more soil. having a tea party? Uh -huh. Isn't that yummy? Mm -hmm. All right, so we got a package and we're going to be trying out, let's see if we can get it in without, oh, the bees. We're going to be trying out some solutions for mosquitoes. So let's see what's in this package. So this is our hose. 
This is our hose, and it's actually an expandable hose, which will be nice. And, then, and this is our wonder side. So hopefully we can do this tonight, and it will help. I was kind of worried about what these chickens were going to do now that we made this big run about what kind of shelter they were going to have for shade when it gets hot. It hasn't really hit big 80 degree weather like it has today now. They've been doing good because they've realized that they can just go right underneath the coop. It's leveled up enough that they have enough room to go back and forth underneath. That causes them to have their shade, that gives them their cold, cool ground underneath. So I'm very happy that they have that. And it makes me feel a little less sad about how they were gonna handle hot weather that's coming. This is kind of the spot where the shade comes because the sun's usually coming from the other side. So we put their food and water here especially since they like going underneath the coop, that allows them to have access to come here and get their food and water to kind of get away from the sun. Although we think that all these animals can just handle all the weathers, which they can, they can get heated really bad and we don't want them to get like that. So they have their water, we fill it so that they have nice cold water. They have their food here to access. So we're happy that they can kind of take a break from this 80 degree weather. All right, it's moving day for these guys. And what I mean by that is we gotta move this chicken tractor with our five chickens in it at the moment to a different spot so that they don't tear up this grass completely. And the grass really isn't as bad as what I thought it was gonna be inside there. There is a lot of poop in there, so we just wanna kinda get them moved about once a week if we can. And that's just to make sure that they're not in so much of their own poop and that they don't tear up the grass and scratch at it too bad and tear it up. So we're gonna get them to a new location. And then this wasn't the best spot that we started them in right here. So we're gonna move them a little bit more over there so that some sun can get for them this, this time. And then they'll still have their shade because we do have the tarp over the top. So I'm not worried about too much sun for them or anything like that. But we wanna get them moved so that all we have to do is just pull it up each time a little bit and not have to move them across the yard like we're gonna do this time. Not a good plan in the first time around. You live and you learn and you make your mistakes and then you try not to do them again. So not trying to make the mistake this time. We're gonna get ready to get them moved. I'm sure when we go to do this chicken move though, we're probably gonna have a few escape artists. So a little bit of chicken roundup after we're done. Unfortunately, all the chickens escaped, so we gotta pick them up. This is what we call a chicken rattle. Alright, we had a little bit of rain going on, but now that we have the green stalk with planted strawberries, Chelsea's gonna wanna start planting seeds in these garden beds. And we actually just expanded this fencing so that we have a bigger area because Chelsea just dropped on me. She may want me to make about three more of those beds, so she has six total of the raised beds. Well, I guess I forgot about those two but those ones we didn't really have to make. We use those out of our old brooder box. So we'll have a total of about eight of the raised beds in here, plus whatever else pots and hanging plants that we might throw around here in the garden. But Chelsea's been using it as a protector here. This is the top of that brooder box over here, if you see the boxes. So I cut that brooder box in half to make two raised beds. This is the top that we had for that brooder box. And that's what we're actually gonna use for the gate right here, and that's what I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do real quick with that. All right, so I'm just gonna put this piece of wood here on me. That's gonna be the front of it. This is the back. I'm using these brackets, I'm just gonna screw that so it holds in place, and that will allow me to kind of put the gate in so it's gonna pivot, but you'll see what I mean. So there you can see, now we have our garden gate. And what's kind of nice is that, like I said before, those two beds over here in the corner, 
We're both made out of the brooder box that we cut in half. And then this was the cover for that brooder box. So we were able to purpose this for the whole garden. We made two raised beds and made a gate. Whether it looks the nicest or not, I actually think it looks pretty good. And hopefully it does its job and keeps out the chickens. If not, we're gonna have to try to improvise and make this a little different. All right, uh, it's been now a few hours with the gate and there has been no chicken activity inside this garden. So that means the gate at least is doing its job at the moment, but who knows once we have plants in there and the food in there, if they're gonna be more motivated and they're gonna try to jump over it, but I sure hope not. Now it's time for our next project. One of the worst parts about working in an area where you have woods in your backyard and you have a pond back there, you're trying to get a lot of work done outdoors is when you start to have to do this all the time. We're talking about mosquitoes, and we're gonna try to get rid of them today. So Chelsea bought these things right here. What we're gonna do is you take this cap off and they give you a little hook cap. You hook it on top of a tree branch and you put them around your perimeter. And they say about four of them is supposed to protect you for about a one acre type area. So we're hoping to put about three of them here in the backyard and then we're gonna put one in the front yard. Just so we walk out our front door, or get to our car or something like that, maybe that stops the spread of a little bit of the mosquitoes. I'm tired of having to wipe around like this, itch for the next four days now probably while I'm trying to put these up after I get bit like crazy back here in the woods. It's just no fun. So let's get these up. It's been a few days since we've collected eggs, so I'm sure we have a whole bunch of them. So, time to get some eggs. Oh. Oh. All right, we got a lot of eggs. I really hope that mosquito thing works. So we just got some good news. I saw this dripping from the spout down here, this rain bucket, and I just set this up here about a week ago, maybe a few weeks ago now. And when we hooked it up, it started raining the very next day and no rain that we could see getting into that barrel at all. So we figured the gutter's probably clogged up above. I haven't been able to check it just yet, or I haven't wanted to, one or the other. But saw this dripping, took a look inside, and it is basically full in there. So now when Chelsea comes to water the garden, which we've had to be doing a lot lately since there has been super hot weather going on, she can use that bucket to help water the garden right now. And it's supposed to rain again tomorrow, so might as well water the plants right now, get the garden all watered. <laughs> Thank you. 